what up so last week I did a video on how to crank flip and you guys really seem to like it so I think I'm gonna start doing how to Tuesdays where myself or other of my friends and pros are gonna explain cool tricks to you guys but let me know what you guys think about this and let's get to it so as I was going through the comments I think the most requested trick was bar spin and seeing as how I learned them the wrong way I'm gonna show you guys both how to do them the wrong and the right way All right, so some of you might be asking what I mean by doing it the wrong way. Like anything BMX, your feet placement and the way you spin dictates on how you're gonna do certain tricks. So when you do a bar spin, if you're left foot forward, you're gonna wanna throw the bar spin with your left hand. If you're right foot forward, you're gonna wanna throw the bar spin with your right hand. Now, some people, Dennis Anderson, Ryan Nyquist, myself, we learn bar spins the wrong way. So we throw them to the right, even though our left foot is forward and we spin to the right. It's not really the end of the world if you learn it that way. You can always learn it both ways, but it makes a couple things more difficult. For the sake of this tutorial, we're only gonna be focused on doing bar spins in a straight line. So you don't have to worry about your foot placement or the way you spin right now, but it does help to learn the right way right off the bat. So again, left foot forward, left hand, right foot forward, you throw with your right hand. So the first thing you might wanna do is find a wall where you can rest your back tire on, lift up your front end, and just start throwing the handlebars and just getting used to throwing the bars back and forth. If you're right foot forward, you may want to throw in your bars to the right, so you want to practice just this motion. If you're left foot forward, you're gonna to want to throw them to the left. Once you get pretty comfortable at just throwing them back and forth, then you're ready to start maybe learning them pick up. So once you have the motion of a bar spin dialed, you're gonna to want to try and take it to the next level with a pickup bar spin. The pickup bar spin is ideal for this because you're doing a small manual and throwing the bars then, so in case you lean back too far, you can easily bail. Another reason that the pickup bar spin really helps to perfect your bar spin game is because when you do a slight manual, your legs are gonna come back straight up and are gonna help to make sure that there's clearance for you to throw the bars. So once you've gotten the concept of the pickup bar spin dialed, you're gonna want to take it to the next level and learn a bunny hop. So the first thing you wanna do is start bunny hopping and extending your legs. In order to have enough room for the bar spin, your knees need to be locked back. So the best way is to pinch the seat. So this motion right here. For me, my right foot is back, so I'm gonna try and pinch the seat with my right knee towards the back of the seat and my left knee towards the front. All right, so once you're feeling zesty and you're ready to throw the bars during a bunny hop, you're gonna want a bunny hop level out but with your front end slightly higher than the back end and the reason why you do that is when you let go of the bars they're going to want to drop slightly so if you have the bars a little higher than the back end when it does drop it'll level out and it'll give you time to catch the bars before you actually hit the ground and as you can see from these stakes i'm hopping while slightly leveling out and keeping the front end higher than the back and then i'm making sure my legs are extended throwing the bars So this one should go without saying, but when you're throwing the handlebars, stare at the handlebars. Don't look at the ground, don't look ahead of you, don't look at that hot neighbor trick again. And when you're throwing the bars, follow through. Some people like to bust driver, and that's where you kind of release the handlebars almost at the very end. I personally throw the bars as fast as I can. I was really terrified of bar spins early on, so the quicker I could get them in and out of my hands, the faster I can catch them and get ready to land. I'm gonna give you guys some troubleshooting tips. If you're throwing the bars and they're only going halfway, hop a little higher and throw them a little faster. If you're not catching the bars in time, it also might have to do with the speed, or to be honest, you're a little hesitant or timid, so just keep practicing it, either pick up bars or up against the wall, and then just focus in your mind. Visualizing is everything. If you can see yourself doing it, you can do it. All right, but I'm gonna go catch a session at the local skate park, so that's gonna do it for this how-to bar spin. I hope you found the tips helpful. I hope you guys liked the video. And like always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll make sure to try and get back to you guys. Tomorrow, I'm meeting up with Mikey Tyra and I think we're gonna build a new bike for him. So stay tuned for that video. And as always, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time.